Today we're testing out the brand new Spitfire soft slider wheels. These are a 93 durometer Formula 4 wheel that's designed to hold their speed across the roughest terrain and absorb more impact and vibration while also giving you a consistent and controllable slide. These wheels were developed over a five year period with Andrew Reynolds being heavily involved in the whole process. So we know these wheels are going to be great if the boss himself was involved in the design process. I've got a set of these in the 54 millimeter radial shape which are 34 millimeters wide and have a riding surface of 20 20.5 millimeters. I'm about to set these up and put these through some tests here at this smooth skate park and then we need to head out to some street spots to see how they perform on more rough terrain as well. So the main things we'll be testing here at the park are the speed, the slide and the grip because most of the time a softer wheel is really good on rough terrain but at a smooth skate park they're just a bit too grippy and too slow and we need to test how these slide through different pinch grinds and especially tail and nose slides where the wheels will be rubbing along the side of the ledge and creating a lot of friction. So let's see how these Spitfire soft sliders perform here at the skate park and then we'll head out to the streets and put them through some more tests on rough terrain. These wheels are legit. Four hours skating at the Smooth Skate Park and these are the real deal. They skated way better than I expected them to. These kept their speed really well on the smooth ground and they don't sound like a soft wheel either. It feels and sounds a lot more like a 97 durometer wheel rather than a 93. And the way these slide and revert, there's no way that I'd believe these are a 93 durometer if I didn't already know that. So these power slide and revert really well. And even the reverts, they sound like a proper wheel. That's what I mean by they don't sound like a soft wheel. Because they're a Formula 4, they still have that Spitfire revert sound. All of the back tails and the front blinds slid perfectly. There was no extra friction or grab at all. And the lip slides on the ledge surprised me so much. Because all my weight is above the back two wheels here, that's what's in contact with the ledge as they're sliding. I did not expect them to slide that well. And I was able to sit on it and just slide perfectly. So these wheels have definitely passed the skate park test. They keep their speed, they slide really well, and they revert as well on smooth ground. But it's time to test these out on more rough terrain here at these ditch spots. So let's see how the speed, slide, and grip feels, and how the impact and vibration absorption helps the joints feel while skating these more rough spots. So the sun's setting a little faster than I expected today and the spots that I had in mind to go to will be too dark by the time I get there. But for the spots that I did skate here, I got a good enough idea of how these perform on rough terrain. And they were amazing. The vibration reduction makes the ground feel so much smoother. You don't get that bone rattling vibration through your feet on rough ground. And they keep their speed a lot on the rough ground too. So I had a good idea that these were gonna be really good for rough street spots. And they were, they kept their speed, they felt really nice and smooth, and they still power slide and revert here on the rough ground as well. But at the skate, 
skate park, these things surprised me so much more than I expected. Being a 93A, I was so surprised at how well these were able to slide. Back tails on ledges, front blunts on the rails, and especially the front lips on the ledge. No friction, no resistance at all, no extra grab. And doing the pinch grinds on the rail, like the crooks, the feebles, and the back 50s, there was no squeak on it either. A lot of the times when you're pinching a grind really hard on a soft wheel, it makes this awful screeching sound. And these grinded perfectly and sounded perfect as well. They do not sound like a soft wheel at all. So these wheels pass the test in the skate park, on the smooth ground, in the streets, on rough ground. And I'm actually going to keep these on my setup. These aren't just going to be a rough spot kind of wheel. These are going to be my everyday wheel. That's how good they are and how impressed I am. And there's no wonder they're so good when the boss Andrew Reynolds was involved in the design process as well. So go cop a set of these from the link in our description below or head to your local fast time store to pick up a set because these wheels are a game changer and you guys are going to love them.